Hey everybody, Sark Weston. I'm gonna continue to test the effects of water logging your line. Uh, I've done a monofilament test recently using Onday's tournament 20 pound line. And I did a unusual soaking time of two days. Um, not that that's practical or real world. I just wanted to see how much uh, monofilament would degrade. And it degraded about 16%. Um, which is probably more than most people would assume um, just by sitting in tap water. So I'm going to continue the test using copolymer, which is an advanced uh, monofilament. Um, I'm going to be using suffix. Um, this is called key lime, IGFA line. Um, it's stated rating is 130 pounds, but I've extensively tested it, and so is the IGFA, this particular spool. And it's right around 119 pounds of breaking strength. So I've got a soaked sample. Again, this is a two day soaked sample. Um, my guess, I don't know, 110 to 115 is where it's gonna break. Let's see where it does. Five pounds, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This line has a lot of stretch. 105.8, so also a fairly dramatic drop in breaking strength when this line um, is soaked in water. Um, again, I'm not sure it has too much practical application uh, for folks, um, just you should understand that when the IGFA tests your line, they do soak it to um, reflect kind of natural um, fishing conditions, the act of casting, um, or if you've got you know bait on the bottom or otherwise, uh, that it has a natural degrading capability through um, the absorption of water and how it affects the tensile strength and stretch and otherwise. But it um, seems to be a fairly significant um, circumstance and I think the IGFA is uh, correct by um, doing that because it, it will give a more realistic expectation of what the conditions were when you actually were fighting the fish. So anyway, hope you guys found that interesting. Thank you.